Not only are Disney and Lucasfilm currently focused on Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, but they are also focused on two live-action TV series and also the new Star Wars trilogy by the creators of Game of Thrones, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one great thing about these movies is that we do know that they are using these films as a way to really bring Star Wars into a totally different direction than we have ever seen before, while also staying true to George Lucas and his vision of the Star Wars franchise. Now, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, now that they are all done with Game of Thrones Season 8, they are now 100% dedicated to the Star Wars franchise. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about the future of Star Wars, and what's really intriguing is that it's described that the fourth Star Wars trilogy and the direction of the story is set to be finalized during the month of June and that Kathleen Kennedy is leaning toward making the films based within the Old Republic era or based on Knights of the Old Republic video games that many fans enjoyed and loved for years. The films are described to be centered on Jedi and Force lore and will remain within the mythology that George Lucas created. It said that there will be many hints and easter eggs of what's to come for the new trilogy in the final cut of The Rise of Skywalker and that it is said to make the films feel connected. It's described that Disney and Lucasfilm plan to start building the sets for the first film, dubbed as Star Wars X, over at a separate studio while the new studio is being constructed. Additionally, it said that it will focus on A-list actors and actresses for the movies as a strategy to attract more fans to the set of films by seeing familiar faces, while also having a plan in place to hire some of the actors they have already worked with on Game of Thrones. The films are described to be based off of a mixture of video games, comics, novels, and books from Star Wars Legends material. So, I really want to go over a couple of parts about all of this. Now, I couldn't be more excited about the new Star Wars trilogy. In case you guys did not know, the reason why we are not getting a movie in 2020, which by the way is fine, not that long. Uh, the reason why we're not getting a film in 2020 is because they are building a new studio for the new Star Wars trilogy and Cassian Andor series. So, those two big projects are moving away from Pinewood, they're moving away from some of the familiar studios, you know, that The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and even Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and The Rise of Skywalker, you know, were actually developed over at. So, now that the new trilogy is getting its own new studio, and that Kathleen Kennedy is described to be gearing towards, or leaning towards, Knights of the Old Republic, or The Old Republic Era, for the Star Wars franchise. To me, this speaks volumes, and even Kathleen Kennedy kind of hinted at this, you know, a couple of weeks ago over at Celebration, where she says that they, t that they talk about this all the time, and that it is indeed in the early works. So, the other piece that I do want to go over is that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss plan to only hire A-list actors for these movies. So, what does this mean, in case you guys are a little confused right now? Well, this actually means that we could see actors, for example, you know, A-list actors. We're talking about people, and I'm not saying that this particular person will be in a Star Wars movie, just an example. For example, you could see Tom Cruise, you could see, you know, somebody at that level within Hollywood in these Star Wars movies. So, that's the one thing to look forward to, is that A-list actors will be used in, of course, the new Star Wars trilogy, as well as David Benioff and D.B. Weiss hiring many of the actors that participated in working on Game of Thrones, as well as extras. So, that's the great thing about these movies, is that it really seems like they're trying to make them feel, you know, very big and very high budget, and having these A-list actors and actresses on board in order to attract a lot of fans from around the world. Again, it's a great strategy when you see a familiar face, you're going to want to go ahead and see that movie and see how that actor portrays that character. Honestly, guys, since they're talking about A-list characters, or should I say actors being a part of these movies, I would not be surprised if they got Tom Hardy as Bane, Darth Bane himself. I would not be surprised. Um, but anyways, I want to move on to the next piece, is that these movies are actually described to be heavily based off of a mixture of video games, comics, novels, and books from Star Wars Legends material, while also staying true with George Lucas and his vision. So, what's great about this is that I think that these movies are going to feel very authentic to what a lot of fans grew up with, uh, post the original trilogy, um, we're talking about the 1990s, 
where a lot of fans were introduced to Shadows of the Empire, uh, Dark Empire, uh, you know, and, and as we went through, we learned a lot more about the Yuzong Vong and stuff like that. Just as examples, right? Uh, we do know that these movies are not based within the Skywalker Saga, so just keep that in mind. It's going to be loosely based or connected with the Skywalker Saga, however, so that's another thing to look forward to. You know, since these movies most likely are going to be based in the past, there's a great possibility that we will see a young Yoda, for example, or maybe even Chewbacca if, you know, these movies aren't set too far back. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.